I was about three miles on a hike in the backcountry when something caught my eye. It looked like the remains of a dead bear. I'm a curious guy by nature, so I pulled out my knife to touch it. Lights out. The surgeon said that I should speak to Ed on the phone because it might be the last time that I speak to him. I had no way to know that that bear was on a live power source, and when I touched it, I was charged with 2,400 volts of electricity. Being alive with few handicaps is much better than being dead. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. I spent 47 days with my partner Jen in the burn trauma ICU. It was a very strange time and just continuously fighting emotions of wanting to look after myself, but also kind of seeing Ed as way more important at that time. Still have a lot of work to do. Pretty amazing that we're out of here. Pretty fucking glad I didn't die. The doubt didn't start until I tried actually getting back to life again. I just wrapped up a, a very successful career as a yacht chef, very confident about where I was in life. All of a sudden, overnight at 30 years old, I had to rethink how to do every single task. I actually don't want to deal with this. I don't want to have to explain any of it. An experience like this teaches you to be incredibly happy with who you are, no matter what you're going through. Eduardo said something that I've heard one or two other patients say, and they said, I would never go back. My life, to me, is richer because of this. I truly feel this urgent need to say thanks at large. The second my eyes opened on that forest floor and I had a heartbeat, I want to get myself out of here and I'm going to get myself back to that, back to life.